Hi everyone, Zen Server is a great PHP stack, but this is not because it includes a vast amount of PHP extensions. We ship Zen Server with a set of extensions that most developers use most of the time. As you can imagine, with this approach there are always 5-10 people who want more. This video will hopefully help these people add the necessary extensions to Zen Server, at least if they are using Linux. I have prepared two VMs for this video, a PHP 5.6 machine running Zen Server on CentOS and a PHP 5.5 machine with Ubuntu. I'll be working in the root shell, it's a lot simpler than creative sudo usage. Let's start with CentOS. The first thing we need is a proper build environment. It starts with PHP sources provided with Zen Server. You can either memorize the package names or simply find them using your package manager. Search for Zen and filter by the word source. So on this machine we need PHP 5.6 sources. Let's install the corresponding package. Of course we'll also need some C, C++ build tools. Here they are. Autoconf, Automake, LibTool, Make, and GCC. These package names are quite common for uh, all Linux flavors. The installation starts. We need to confirm the installation. While it's running, let's do the same on the Ubuntu machine. PHP 5.5 this time. Same build tools. Confirmation. Back to CentOS. The installation may be long and I'm using the magic of fast forward. For you, it'll take several minutes. Ubuntu is ready in the meanwhile, but it's not a competition, right? CentOS done too. There are two major types of PHP extensions. The ones that are part of PHP, you'll find them in the PHP sources themselves, and third-party extensions, which you can find in Peckle, the PHP extensions community library. We'll start with Peckle. This is easier. And we will be compiling the YAML extension. All we need to do is simply running the Peckle script provided with Zen Server. First, we'll search just to make sure that the extension exists. And then we'll install it. Installation in this case is, of course, a term that means preparing the sources, compiling them, and placing the compiled binary in the right location. Some installations are interactive, and this one fails. Usually, when this happens, you'll find useful information in the console output. Sometimes it'll take googling to find a solution, in our case the problem appears to be clear. We need to install libyaml. The package manager will help us here. Now, for compilation, we usually need the special development packages of the required libraries. This is what we are going to install. And the normal library package too. Let's retry the installation. With a different result this time. Looks like it worked. Let's verify that the new binary is at the right place. Yes, it is. At this point, we only need to add these extensions to the PHP configuration. In Zen Server, we use a special directory for the additional extensions. Each has its own small INI file. It also makes sense to adjust the permissions of the INI file so that Zen Server can manage it properly. 
done. Let's restart PHP through Zen Server UI. While it's restarting, we'll repeat the steps in Ubuntu. No need to pretend this time that we don't know about libyaml dependency. You'll notice that the development package name is slightly different in Ubuntu. And the library itself is already installed. Packle installation was OK. Same steps for PHP configuration. Refresh. Restart PHP on the Ubuntu machine. Now let's find the YAML extension. Here it is. Now we can even use Zen Server's extension management capabilities for our newly compiled extension. Let's change a parameter here. Save. Restart. By the way, the configuration directives of an extension are saved in the same small INI file. The first line is ours, and the other line comes from the change we made in Zen Server UI. Let's check upon Ubuntu. Here it is. So far so good, but let's do some functional testing too. Here is the error I got from the previous script execution. PHP was not aware of the YAML functions. How about now? Much better. If you pause here and read the script, you'll understand what I'm doing. Worked again. Ubuntu. Same test. Just as successful. Now let's see how to compile one of the built-in PHP extensions. We will compile the SNMP extension. To that end, we will use the PHP source code tree that we installed together with the build tools. The source code is installed in Zen Server's share directory. On CentOS and other Red Hat derivatives, these extensions can be found under php-source slash ext. And here's the SNMP extensions directory. Here we will execute the phpice script from Zen Server's bin directory. The script will prepare the build configuration which we pass as a parameter to the standard configure script. Small surprise, this fails too. The SNMP extension also needs additional packages to be compiled into function. Just as before, we will install the required packages and its development counterpart. In the meanwhile, in Ubuntu Debian family, the location of the PHP source is slightly different. User, local, zen, share, php-source, then the PHP version, and only then the rest, ext slash snmp. Same PHP script, same configure script, same error.
However, on this system, the search for package name given in the error message yields one obviously relevant result. I suppose that a more general search term may be a better way to go. Of course, from this list, we will take the library packages, because this is why the libraries exist, to be used and compiled with other programs and libraries, and the SNMP package itself. Let's give the configure script another chance. Looks right. Back to CentOS. Configure. Ready for the next step. Make. This is what compiles our SNMP extension. Looks good to me. Make install will place the compiled.so file into the correct location, then server's PHP extensions directory. Indeed. Same on Ubuntu. And back to finalizing the CentOS setup. We create another small .ini file to load this extension. Changing its ownership. Hope you're not feeling dizzy from this constant CentOS Ubuntu switching. Now we are restarting PHP. So, SNMP extension is loaded in CentOS and on Ubuntu. Test. Again, the fatal error from the time I ran PHP SNMP -lessly. Refresh takes some time, which can be either a good or a bad sign. It was a good sign. We get an error message produced by the SNMP extension. Almost there, we just need to run the SNMP daemon, to which our brand new extension can connect. And voila! It works! Ubuntu Equally good news What fun would it be if every Linux were the same? On Ubuntu the package installation ends with daemon's launch. It works? Well, now you know what to do when your PHP info output seems short to you. Thanks for watching.